Imagine the number of times that you have called in sick at your job. Tonight, a look at a guy who has never, ever called in sick. And if you're a Blues fan, you know the voice. With the help of photographer Tom Stasiak, we give you the Tom Calhoun story. He's walking to a job that he has never missed. Who has 35 years of perfect attendance at their place of work? Okay. To be precise, that is exactly, as you can see on the corner of his notes, 1,573 games in a row that Tom Calhoun has done this. Please welcome to the ice for their pregame warm-ups, your St. Louis Blues! It just satisfies my itch, I guess, to get in front of a microphone and be around sports. The St. Louis Blues and Enterprise Center would like to remind all guests that... Because of COVID, the 71-year-old Blues public address announcer is high in the press box now at Enterprise. The room is dark and he's alone. But in the old days, he sat between the penalty boxes and one day challenged the toughest guy in the game, Bob Probert? Some guys behind the uh, glass were yelling at him, and he decided to go up over the glass after these guys. And there was nobody else in the penalty box to stop him from doing it. And I reached up and grabbed him by the trunks, and he looked down at me and said, you don't want to do that. And I said, you're right. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Calhoun had a front row seat. He was a few feet away from everybody, from T.J. Oshie to Kevin Shattenkirk. And if he ever made a mistake, well, he got immediate feedback. Penalty call one time, I announced uh, Jamal Mayer's uh, penalty and he was already in the penalty box. <laughs> and uh, so he didn't want another one. He tapped me on the shoulder, say, hey, I'm already in here. So it all began on January 3rd, 1987. Not a lucrative deal either. I started at $25 a game. He owns over 2,800 points. In but Calhoun never did the job for money. He's a fan and those mellifluous pipes get real excited. Number 99, Wayne Gretzky. The most excited ever may have been after the Pat Maroon goal. Blues game winning goal. Scored by number seven, the hometown boy, Patrick Maroon. By day, Calhoun teaches mass communications at Southwestern Illinois College. But that job doesn't get you a Stanley Cup ring. And it also doesn't get 20,000 people on their feet when you talk. Your St. Louis His preparation is impeccable. He arrives at 4.30 on game days. His voice is elegant. Your cooperation is appreciated in advance. Thank you. Although it does seem to fluctuate greatly when the opposition scores, listen closely. Nashville goal at 4.05 as opposed to when the Blues score. Listen closely. Blues goal, his 14th of the season. Score number 49, Ivan Barbashev. And because Calhoun has been at it for 35 years, there's a certain amount of celebrity that comes with the job. At the Stanley Cup celebration down at the Arch back in 19, John Hamm came up and got a photo with me and said, hey, I've been listening to you for a long time, you know. And he, He's a little more famous than I am. Tom Calhoun, 1,573 consecutive games and counting. Blues go! His ninth of the season. Scored by number 90, Ryan O'Reilly. And with one goal, when that mic and headset are on. A professional presentation, a reliable person, someone that they can count on in big moments and small moments, and something that they can be proud of. Blues power play goal at 1747. 